to close out the show with the Major League Baseball talk. Okay. Ten game suspension for pitchers that are found to have a sticky substance uh, that they are using to throw the football. I mean, the baseball. Excuse me. The baseball, yep. Yeah. Um, change sports on us. Change sports, yes. Um, I am against this. Now, I'm, I'm for it overall. I am not for it immediately because you the change that you have to make between um, between throwing the ball with something that actually gives you grip as opposed to just a new shiny baseball, which, you know, it's you're going to scuff it up. Baseball. Yeah, you're going to scuff it up and whatnot, but... I, these baseballs are rubbed down massively. Yeah, but you've only got a certain amount of time before games to be able to do it. Like, these are not No, you baseballs. don't do it. The, rum, the ums rub them up. Right. They're rubbed up. So you're, you're leaving this up to the umpires. Like, but the, the, listen, a, a baseball in the major leagues is rubbed up pretty good. Okay, so it sounds to me like you and I are on different wavelengths on this. Oh, we're we're definitely um, on different wavelengths. So Tyler Tyler Glasnow is the one that kind of changed my mind on it because he he actually hurt himself when he stopped using a sticky substance and came back and tried to throw the ball without it. Right. This is and it's, this is once again you're confusing causation with correlation. Yeah. No. Okay? No. no, no. I'm, yes. Yes. He hurt his arm after he stopped using uh, a sticky substance. Okay. I would, I'm going to tell you that I've seen enough pitchers go down with Tommy John to know that if you throw hard enough, long enough, you're eventually going to need Tommy John. You're going to eventually tear your UC joint, and you're going to end up getting Tommy John. I To say that this is the reason why, uh, we're talking about grip, okay? We're yeah. talking about all this thing does is supposed to help you get a better grip on the baseball. But go grab a baseball and try to throw it, all right? It, it, it's the grip is not going to affect anything. Okay. It's going to affect how much you can make a ball move, but it's not going to make your, your, what you do with your arm isn't going to change. It's just going to mean you can put more pressure on the ball to make it actually do what you want it to do. All right. You can make it move and you can make it dance with the sticky stuff, but the motion of throwing the ball with that shit on your hand should be no different. These guys have been picking up baseballs and throwing them since they were in little league. Most of them since they were five or six years old. Okay. It wasn't until the last three or four years that they started putting real sticky shit on their balls. Okay. Yeah. All right. And, and, and to tell me that you've lost the ability to pitch without cheating without putting this shit on there. And that's the reason you got hurt. How, why the hell didn't you get hurt in college ball or get like rookie, like all these other things that you did up until the majors when you, when your spin rate went through the roof, which is the last three to four years. What, what happened before then you didn't know how to pitch then that's, that's insane. And, and the other part of that I, I want to address is, is, it's not just Tyler, by the way, this is, I think that's a bullshit excuse, okay? But somebody, please, please go listen to Garrett Cole's excuse, like, for his terrible outing after he finally had to stop using the sticky shit, all right? Got lit the hell up, and he's crying in the dugout, basically, begging reporters to take it easy on him because he he's – he, he, this is new and this is hard and this is, I'm used to doing it this other way and, and you shouldn't hold me to this other stand. I'm thinking, holy shit, dude. He, he actually said, I was, I was having a hard time gripping the ball because it was windy out. Yeah. He, he made it, he made it significantly worse on himself. Wait a minute. Way what? worse. What the fuck does the wind have to do with you gripping a baseball? Are you that fragile? Are you that uh. frail? I can't. I'm not defending any of these guys. I'm hurling them all out the bus. You bunch of crybabies. You bunch of bitches. Listen, we're not doing this, okay? We're not. All right. People have been back in the day. They put spit on the ball. It was a spitball. All right. They put a little spit on a little talc, and and they were able to do stuff with the ball. Now you're putting this tack on there, and literally you can put it on your hand, stick it on a cement block, and pick your hand up, and the cement block comes with it. All right. Woe were the days that they were using spit and talcum. Yeah. All right. Yeah. 
it's it's a little ridiculous. I'm, you can I'm still you. use a rosin bag. You still got plenty of sweat from yourself to reach up a lather and get a grip on a baseball. All right. I I pitched in high school. I wasn't good in little league. I wasn't good. I threw strikes. People hit me out of the yard. Whatever. I did have a little bit of movement on the ball. Not a lot. I wasn't great. I'm not claiming to be great. I'm gonna tell you. I've I've never once not been able to throw a baseball. Now. To say I can't throw it and not make it move without this shit, well, that's on you, bro. Yeah. That's on you. When you played college ball, you had a hell of a, a, a of a curveball, and you weren't using this shit. When when you played, you know, rookie league ball or or, or whatever, you if you came straight from high school, you weren't using this shit. So how the hell did you make the ball move before then? And if you've forgotten how to pitch without it because you've been using it for so long, and now you're just a product of this goo. And you're and you're not actually a good pitcher. Shame the hell on you. The yeah. Yankees still got seven years and like two hundred and something million dollars to pay. Congratulations, hell of a contract, boys. Yeah, I better believe it. So uh, here's the thing: is they can go and uh, you know they can they can go and buy another one because there is no cap. You know they can do whatever they need to. Uh- Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.